Merry Christmas. Wish you a Merry Christmas. Wish you a Merry Christmas. Wish you a Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. I think so. Ah. Everything too loud. Very sure. In any case. Here we are. I'm gonna go with this back. Light change in the UI. This time we're gonna Reaper over in the tap here. I have cross instructions in hand. Uh, 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 having yeah, uh, cross is the same mind. We have already secured the aid of good folk at the confluence. We take ourselves there. Confluence, thou sayest. I'm afraid so, my friend. Huh? Thou wilt recall the hunt for Isot, to whose sanctuary we delivered thee owing to the knowledge of our comrade Moonbrida. Moonbrida was an authority of atheology, a field of study she did embark upon in pursuit of her parents' example. Both are authorities in their own right, and both are researchers of the confluence. Haven't you gone to see them yet? I attempted to do so earlier, but to my shame, my courage failed me at, to, at the last. As it hath, the many times I thought to reach out to them after sending that fateful letter. Neither time nor introspection has revealed unto me the words I should speak, and thus have I kept my silence. Whether you come with us or no is your choice and yours alone. If it's too difficult, we'll manage. Thou art kind to say so, but in no intention of forsaking our cause. I shall go to the confluence and shall face what hath long been overdue. If it's settled, then let us be off. When we arrive, we should look at look for the rich named Kitty. Kitty. Well, now, this is rather a lot of stern faces. My library book's overdue again. Want to our knowledge. We're associates of Kral, the students of Baldessia. We seek passage to Thavnir and understand that you can assist us. Oh, the test subjects! Welcome, welcome! Oh, uh, wait, what? Test subjects? Oh, you haven't heard. Well, allow me to explain. So, in order to travel to an Aethera, you no originally you ordinarily need to attune to it beforehand. Otherwise, you can't use it as beacon to seek to seek out while you're in the mess of e your mess of ether hurtling through the live stream. An inconvenient but incontroversial limitation of Aetherite transportation. But what if I tell you that there is a way to travel to an Aetherite without being attuned to it? A way to teleport instantaneously to places you've never been. For long years we've labored to make such travel per possible, the people might move more freely. And we've finally done it! We've created a new kind of aetherite. But that doesn't require attunement. Truly, that changes everything. 
about my language may be a bit misleading. The user need not attune to these etherites, but the etherites themselves must be pre-attuned to each other, thereby, thereby facilitating travel between the two points. But it just so happens that our first test pair of etherites, one has been installed here in Charlene, the other in Yedelmad, a port town in Daphne. As you may know, our nation has long maintained strong ties with Ratsatan. And indeed, we owe much to the breakthrough and contributions of the Archimates. So to sum it up, we are to test these etherites. A fortuitous for you. I should mention that an accent has impaired my ability to channel ether. Will that be a problem? Not at all. As a matter of fact, you would say these etherites were made for people like your good self. The magics imbued within all whisk you, whisk you away without any effort on your part. Incredible dream come true, and far be it from me to worry about such things. And do we have permission to make use of your shiny new invention? The only permission required is yours. So assuming you're willing, we're all set. It may come, come as a surprise, but we actually struggle to find test subjects. Most people seem to have an unreasonable fear of their souls gradually degrading as they drift help, helplessly in the live stream. In this statistically unlikely event that something goes awry. But it's plain that you aren't most people. <laughs> Mrs. Kyle truly knows how to pick them. <laughs> if I might change the subject. We're... Master Wilson and Mistress Blowida are not present today. Oh, you didn't hear? They recently resigned the post. Their expertise was needed elsewhere. Large scale project helmed by the forum itself, I understand, but it's not pre but I'm not privy to the details. I see. Any other questions? No? Then let's get going before you change your minds. Please see to your preparations and head outside to the Etherite Plaza. I'll be along shortly. I was like, I need to quickly do something. It's Christmas, so of course, text messages from, from family, so. One sec. You can disappear from the camera. Was it? Three. I'm already attuned to the crystal in Thavnir. You are? Oh. I would have preferred more test subjects. Oh, well, never mind. If our three travelers could line up here, please. Fine. 
time. Take a deep breath, and I'll soon have you soaring through the ether. Oh, and one last thing. You might experience a teensy-weensy touch of violent ethereal sickness. Good luck! What? <laughs> Just a little ether sickness, no big deal. Thavnir, home to city-state Rads Athar. Rising from the southeast waters of the Bounty, this Isle of Plenty served as the battleground for a conflict between two peoples. Their cultures bled into one another until a unique amalgamation was distilled from the chaos, in a process not unlike their precious alchemy. Once solidified as a single nation, an adamant stance of neutrality would hold invaders at bay. For a time. Now across this vibrant isle creeps a fog of malice. What choice do you have? What chance? <laughs> Against such an insidious foe. It's just ether sickness. <laughs> Thank you for the narration. <laughs> I've seen fairer faces after a bout of bad shellfish. Let me bring you something to drink. That should help settle your bellies. <laughs> I like how Oregon is just curled up there. There was a note with Kryle's instructions. Don't let Astinian roam the markets alone. He's alarmingly bad with coin. I will defy you, Ether Sickness. It's raining. It doesn't make this great. Oh, quick! It's in the end. It's in the end. Oh! Oh! Uh, 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 oh! God! Oh! Jeez! Uh. 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 It's in the end. Uh. Uh. Do that. There, I need three drinks, something that helps with ether sickness. But buy them with Manosuya. 
a traveler. Uh, I, I mean, greetings, greetings, and welcome. Uh, wise, good sir, to come to me. A special mm-hmm. armor lassie made with only the finest and freshest ingredients is famed for calming unruly bellies. By way of warm welcome to Tavnir, and I'm pleased to offer you offer to you for one low low price of 19,800 gil. But not one, not two, but three bottles. A bargain nugget amongst bargains. Mm. Uh, no, <laughs> the price is highway robbery. <laughs> you want to say as much to the city, but you realize your words of warning you cry out might be accompanied by your last meal. Let's <laughs> stand before a city and make gestures. Deny that the meal is fair. No, no, no. Estinia, Estinia, de- deny! No, no, no! I thought you could barely stand. What do you mean to tell me that's so right? Wait. I shouldn't buy the mouse. This version is swindling me. What? Uh... Sincerest apologies, but I did appear to have my prices confused. It's actually 1,890 gil for the, the three bottles of Vazi. Well, I think these have really cost, been quite costly for both of us. Very well then, no calling. Here, a bottle for each of you. Take them to the others and get some rest. I'll be back after I've explored the town. Oh, exactly. Ah. Three, two, two, three, eight, three, eight, three, eight, three. Here, Orianje, uh, is, is a special Amara Lassi. Uh, her name's U2 the 12. My slung of stuff loosened this death grip. My heartfelt thanks to thee, Estidia, to the fine fruits of this land. You were in time? Excellent. You spared to Tara's life. Yeah. Yeah. Sweet, sweet release. <laughs> you aren't already. After uh, having a good drink of Lassie. You feel better. Right. I'm ready to get on with it. That Lassie really truly good. One day. Back on your feet, I see. Thy hair. I I bought it. This is the most I could do against this short and shreddy armor. Yeah, that's where you got the corn for. The local vendor. Man said it was a Thavnerian weave, tough and not easy to be unwrapped. How much did it cost? 9400 gil. <laughs> Steel, I was told. There's nothing fancy, but I always find you funker than before. That's incredible. It does say not even out there to kill the campus. Inspected the ocean food. You're doomed. Well, that's so good. I shall refrain from making comments. I <laughs> cannot help but observe that the merchants seem overzealous in the pursuit of profit. In Tavnir as it's to begin, the nation of threats at hand has long thrived as a hub of commerce. In the beginning, there was the Akasotra, and the Tonga tribe indigenous to this land. Over time, they came to be joined by other races, and though they're intermingling through their intermingling, a culture rich in distinct, 
From alchemy to textiles, the fabrics of Hanish culture have come to be celebrated and coveted the world over. I'm not doing very good for the accent. I don't have to, but I won't. The development only aided by the nation's prime location as a way for the trips east and west. All of this has combined to make a tra trading power at Farata Han. Yet such a such a status cannot be taken for granted. Okay? The bay needs must needs be maintained to the business government since infant regulation. Neither of which I see any evidence given that the merchants at a gate gateway town are free to fleece hapless travelers and tarnish the reputation of the nation at large. Just so, the opportunistic pricing is rampant does suggest that oversight is much weakened or may have the people have fallen upon hard times. Whatever the truth be, it would be prudent to ascertain the current state of affairs. Turn in a practical eye, you have not to lose by learning more. So, ere we seek out Kryo's acquaintance, shall we see what information we can gather here in Yedimod? Yedimod? Excellent. Didn't exactly get off on a flying stop, but we'll make it make up for it. So this is and then well, turn the volume down. So this is Thavnir is supposed to be this style at least is supposed to be Indian in design. And when I say Indian, I really mean India Indian. I'm not sure how much about the, like, merchant tile is like that, but kind of the, the culture theme. Hard workers. Right, so split up and make inquiries in town. Emigos, the peer is yours. Once you've learned what we can, regroup at the AFRI, off putting though the mere sight of it may be. Quick side trip. You want to be prepared to fly. So trader. Joke about keep. Well, I probably could have done the trick about keep later because we're going this way. Much like the the split uh, split zones or the split quests at the beginning of any expansion, Thavnir is also split. We got the side we're on, and then another side. This side we can't get on until later in the the expansion. Crazy, they didn't fruit, but they're in verge of spoiling as if they had been left too long.
Easing out from the pier, you spy boats moored off nearby isles, with the little bits of larger seafaring vessels further away. Compared to other ports you've visited in the past, there appears to be very little activity. What am I doing? Ah, recording my sails. Still do not, not daily yet. Still do it daily out of habit, though I do, don't know why I bother. Hardly sell anything these days. This has never been this terrible, but I, I suppose things be worse. I could have have a consortium to, to keep afloat like Azal. I don't envy his position. Better to be alone with my little operation. I've come to realize you're a traveler by the looks of it. If you have a moment, perhaps you pay Azal a visit. You'd be glad for tidings from abroad. Like as not, we'd find him at the Saltwind Sails. The Harbor, Harbor Guild. Building across the water from here. Well now, is it the Traveler? Isn't it the Traveler? We have a rare sight in these unsettling times. People have been giving us a wide berth since the accursed tower suddenly appeared that the Runar. If it just stood there and loomed ominously, perhaps things would be fine after a fashion, but no. No, it had to spawn fell fiends as well. We still have our lives thanks to the Radiant Host. Business is as good as dead. They'll come, become... What will become of us? Only the gods know. The Dalmaskans aren't coming, but we already have everything they ordered. What are we supposed to do with it? I don't know, but telling me it isn't going to help. All I know is that their plans have changed. That's that. Look, you may have known this This might happen. The Empire is at war with itself and the provinces are in chaos. And then there's the tower sitting on our doorstep, spitting out monstrosities. The city has its defenses, but we've been afforded no protection out here. We cannot blame foreigners for not wanting to take the risk. Ah, and this will be an enormous loss. All right, all right. Forget about the Damascans. Surely some ships are still coming. We have fresh produce, handicrafts, medicines. All the perennial harnessed, harnessed favorites. Our consortiums... It works closely with merchants and artisans to supply only the finest wares. Quality is guaranteed. <sighs> I know all these things, Kazal, I do. Which is why I regret to say that I have nothing for you. Our voyages have been cancelled or indefinitely postponed. And you are? Wait, you're a foreigner, are you not? A merchant? Please, tell me you're a merchant. Oh, I'm sorry. I see. What a shame. I'm sorry. Was, we're discussing important matters. If you need something, please talk to one of the others. Um, excuse me. M m my name is Matsya, and I'm here to see Kazar. Well, oh, it, it seems he's busy. I'll come back later then. Hmm. Talk to this Matsya guy. Yes, can I help you? 
Yeah, what were you looking for, Casal? Oh, I remember you back at the guild. You wanted to speak to Casal too, did you? I am Matsya, a fisherman of Akagi. Akali. 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 A nearby village. I sell my catch to Kazal, who offers it to foreign merchants, but he hasn't bought anything for a while now. When I heard the consortium has been struggling, I became worried and decided to come and see him. Just as soon as he's free, anyway. He's a hard-working man, and I dare not disturb him. A very nice one. Um, if I may ask, what is it that you do? Oh, I'm assigned at the seventh on. You're an adventurer, you say? You travel the world helping people. Then that must mean you're good at dealing with strangers. Please, won't you teach me to be like you? Huh? You see, I brought some fresh fish with me. The portion I couldn't preserve. I wanted to sell them. The problem is that it, I'm terrible with people. I ever only dealt with Kazal and I talked to customers without getting my trunk in the twist. So please, as silly as it might sound, will you not peddle the fish in my stead and show me how it's done? Yeah, I suppose I can. Or at least try. If you're willing, please let me know. We will begin at once. Well, I have to. Events to follow cannot be skipped. You may wish to cancel any pending duty finder reg registrations. Alright. You do it then. Show me how to deal with customers. I'm in your debt. Right. Please try peddling my fish to say we say three people here and get the mod. I think I said get the mod. Get the mod. Get the mod. That seems to work. I'll observe you and then. Please now accompany me. All right, this is a game. This is a challenge. The goal is to sell each one of these. I completely and utterly failed the first time. I've done it a second time and I got two sales. I'm shooting for three. And let's see if I can remember how I did the two successful sales. Hmm, yes? Greetings, friend. How fair you of late? Greetings to you, too. I suppose it's well enough given the circumstance. Things have settled down somewhat, but it was utter chaos when that tower first appeared. Everyone grabbing whatever they could, trampling over, over each other to get to the city. Many remain there for now, but I could not stay away. I had to come back, continue with my life, such as it is. Whether or not it was the right choice, I'm in time with hell. There's no place like home, but don't you think it's dangerous, eh? Oh, well, trust me, I don't. I make sure to keep well in the tower, and when more monsters emerge from it, I heed the Radiant Host's instructions. I hope they deal with it soon so we can get back to our normal lives, in the days when we could earn as much as we gave. I'm talking to Emil, satisfied that we did work. Good work. Okay, so here's the key here. I I made progress, made a connection, had this nice little little chat. Chat. Right now we are at what I refer to the final line. These days will come again before you know it. Till then stay safe means I'm leaving. But we're trying to sell a fish. He just talked about meals. Speaking of meals, why not have some fresh fish today? Hmm. Fresh fish, you say? Bro, you're a fishmonger. <laughs> when you bait me like that, how could I not bite? Very well. Give me some of your fish. Thank you for your custom. The catch of the day is, is Shadow's Cod. 
delectable stewed in coconut milk and baked with a sprinkle of salt. Yes! Sale one! Successful! Key here. Here. Make a connection. And then when the time is right, strike. Huh? Huh? All right. That one I got before. I remembered. I remembered how, to, how this goes. All right. Sale two. This is the one I didn't make a sale with twice. So I gotta be careful. Think. And see if we can sell some fish with this gal. Gotta keep that conversation going. Hunker, are you? Do you sell fruit by chance? If so, I want to buy some home raw. Let's say it doesn't. Don't need to be an export quality. Well, first off, you don't just, just dive in. You don't just go right in for the kill. You gotta, gotta ramp them up. So, Amra, Amra, fresh fruits is the only thing you need? Uh-uh, no. That's never gonna work. Let's ask. Why do you need so many armor for? I for eating, of course. It may seem a lot, like a lot, but late I go go through the, as much as no time at all. I'm a stock trader by trade. No vessels coming these days. The wares are beginning to pile up. By the same token, nothing is coming in from overseas. But not a day goes by when somebody doesn't come ask him when the next shipment is arriving for, the, for this and that and this and that. Well, it wears me down. I find myself constantly hungry. I know how you feel. Let's get some empathy. Thank you. A pity you don't sell fruit, but I enjoyed this little chat. Oh, shoot. It is quite possible that this one is impossible to pass. I got a new game plus in order to, to keep trying this. I want to do it again. Can I abandon the quest and start again? All right. Skipping the dialogue. I'm mad. I'm upset. Ah. Ah. Merry fucking Christmas. I thought that would be a good Christmas present. Have three out three. Oh shit! That's because I I mounted. It can't it can't mount when you have somebody accompanying you. I bet somebody wrote down the answers to to all of this. What is it? If you don't mind, I'm rather busy. Oh God, it's my stomach. Ugh. Is there sickness? No, nothing so unusual. It's my worry to get back to work. I just ate a little too quickly. 
You should take it easier. Eat more slowly. Savor your food. What could I do? But I can't handle to be at. I can't afford to be idle. Like there is not, circumstances really get worse before they get better. And so I'm wor working as hard as I can, while well, I can s still can, the better to be prepared. How do you intend to prepare? Find out what their needs are. I start putting supplies for sure. I need to earn coins so I can buy food, medicine, what have you. Do we have anything su suitable, Matsuya? <gasps> what do we have? Hmm. Uh, we do have some dry product, too. A Thefnerian cucumber and, and papaya fish. They're the last of the batch, so you be, if you're interested, you can have them for a discount. Truly, by all means, I'll take them all. Best gratitude. Ah, you remembered what I told you earlier that I preserve what I catch, which serves to show the importance of being attentive. Thank you so much for your demonstration. It is truly eye opening experience. Come, let us return to the pier. And thank you so much for showing me how to talk to customers. You managed to sell to two of the three people you approached. Ventures do indeed have great conversational skills. Watching you at work was very enlightening. By applying the lessons you have learned, I hope to one day pedal as well as you. Still, there's only so much I can do alone. I hope that things will return to normal for Kazal soon. I thought I heard a, heard a familiar voice. You, who should it be? Matsya! Kazal, have you finished with your business at the guild? Oh, so you were there too. Forgive me. Try as I might, I can't find any buyers. No ships coming in and hardly any going out. There simply aren't any options at this rate. So, you can't buy my fish anymore? I'm sorry, Matsya. I truly am. But from now, you must peddle your own goods. 
but by myself I can't. I want to help, I do. But as it stands, I can barely help myself. I poured all into the consortium. Damned if I'd let it fall apart. I have fa friends and families depending on me. I can't. I won't fail them. Sisters as my witness. Cause all... Well, not to worry. Uh, using what I've learned from you, I'm sure I'll manage somehow. Well, I am best returned to my village. My thanks again. Please take care on the road. I see you've been busy. Managed to learn a tidbit or two, I trust? I see. I've also heard the towers affecting the local, local livelihoods. I think it, it would be to much an extent. Such an extent. For another notable, it is not wholly unexpected discovery. Disappearances of kidnaps are disturbing commonplace. As before, the culprits are almost certainly tempered imperial soldiers. As before, they mean to use the faith of their hapless thralls to call forth the Luna Primal. Business as usual for the Telophorae. The, M the Mutsian fellow you were helping. He's at Arcasodra, is he? Apparently, it is almost exclusively his people that are being kidnapped. Would you be traveling alone? If summoning is its per perpetrator's, if this perpetrator's aim, it doth stand to reason that Uncle Sudra would be the, their primary targets. For it is the faith of their ancestors that prevaileth in this land, and many are devout adherents still. We better go after him. Akyali lies to the west, as I recall, the same direction as Kral's acquaintance, incidentally. That's settled then. Keep your eyes peeled while we make for the village. I'm going to do the, uh, the ether quest, uh, offline. And see Matsya nearby, but the elevated ground up ahead may provide a better vantage point. Don't see much here from here either. No, no, leave me alone. Help, somebody help. Let's see his voice, and he came from the north.
Where did they go? Why aren't you here? I see you found him in time. You, you and your friends came to look for me? I don't know how to thank you. On my way home, I took a moment to stop and rest. Think about what to do about, well, everything. And then those men came. Kidnappers. They had heard that the Arca we had heard that the Arcasudra has been were being targeted. Surely you have have as well. Perhaps it's best if we took you took refuge in the city. We've considered it, me and the others, but fishing is all we know. The ocean's all we have. I see. That's your decision to make, but you should take care take care not to travel alone. A question, if I may. It is our understanding that strange fiends were emerging from the talus. What canst thou, canst thou tell us about these beings? Not much, I'm afraid. I have no idea what they are. But I've heard that some bear an unsettling resemblance to our divinities. For that reason, some have t have taken to calling the tower Zot. House of Divinities, in the old tongue it means. But they're not true divinities. They're monstrous lim imitations of being that bring only death. Above one's faith so twisted in grievous dignity and full justified art thou in thine outrage. Know that tis of no other purpose than to neutralize the tower that we have journeyed to this land. In time we may be forced to contend with these false gods, and thus we would learn all we may about them. Wilt thou not tell us of thy divinities and their true nature? You've come all this way to save us? Really? You think I had you peddling fish? But to answer your question, yes, of course. We'll be gladly tell you about our gods. We, I say, because I'm a terrible storyteller, and I ask my fellow villagers. I'd ask my fellow villagers to do it. So please come to our village. We are good, God's fearing folk, all of us. Be honored to share our knowledge and fish. What sayest thou? Shall we pay visit to Akiyali? Akiyali? Wonderful. Just follow the road west and down the hill. You can't miss it. Hey, take it, we escort him. So it is the simulacra of Thavdarian gods that are being summoned. If any doubt exists before, there can be none now. The kidnapped Tanish are imprisoned in the tower. I pray that we'll be able to save them. Though indeed, saving them will be mean conf confronting their false gods, like as not. I, as he said, you do well to study the religious traditions. Jack Yali. Welcome to Akyali, my friends. The name means white beach. 
there isn't much here save that. But please, make yourself at home. Your companions have already been ta uh, talking to everyone. Feel free to show yourself around. Do the same. Any one of us can tell you about our gods, but you could do worse than to start with Kanga and the old, old Hasyeld Hasveda. They're free at the moment, as it happens. Hmm? You wish to know about our gods. What a curious visitor you are. Most want fish. In any case, happy to oblige. Now, I don't know how it is when you hail, but an island, our isle is home to many gods. They can be divided in two groups. The Manus, the Manusia, the beings of wisdom who assume the forms of men, and the Murga, being of might who assume the form of, the, of beasts. Together they are divinities, forms and personalities many and varied. Some are kind and gentle, others stern and temperamental, just like we mortals can be. All are possessed of great insight and experience, and by heeding their teachings we strive to be better people and live better lives. Interested in learning about our gods, you say? Yeah, yeah this is, that's what I'd like to hear. Pick up your ears and then listen. In ancient times, the Manusia, the Manusia and the Merg are deities who look like men and beasts respectively, were locked in conflict. Eventually, seeking the wisdom of the Manusia, 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 the Mergers cast aside their own heads and took up those of their foes. Likewise, the Manusia, Lucia coveted the might of the Murga, and so they too resolved to trade heads. Thus being born new gods, possessed of might, both might and wisdom, they ushered in an age of harmony between the two factions. From then on, as a sign of their esteem for one another, Gnosuya have worn animal faces and the Murga the limbs of men. There you are. Learned a thing or two about the gods, I trust. While you are off talking to the others, I remembered something that may be of interest. If you could let your friends know, I'll go fetch it from my house at once. Apologies for the wait. I wish to show you this hanging scroll, which depicts three of our most revered deities. By all means, we would like to see it. These are the Magus sisters. This is a uh, Final Fantasy IV reference, actually. They are Manasuya. You heard of them already, yes? Three sisters. The center is the eldest, Sindaruva, goddess of wisdom. For this, alchemists hold her in the highest. To her right is the middle sister, Sindaruva. Uh, as a goddess of wealth, she counts many traders among her followers. And on the left is Minduruva. Youngest sibling. I'll switch. Minduruva, the youngest sibling. She provides over the crafts and so is beloved by weavers. Although each is worshipped by, for different reasons, the sisters are usually portrayed together in these works, which people keep in their homes for good fortune. In like fashion to the Manasuya, 
The deities of Eorzea preside over myriad aspects of life. And that, what of the Murga, if I may ask? Murga hold power over nature. In ages past, they are revered as guardian deities in times of conflict. If you have occasion to visit our temples and ruins, you'll find their images there. Among them is a god who possessed the Garsha head, and he is venerated as the progenitor of the Akasodra. And then there are dragons. They occupy a special place in our history. You worship dragons, too? It's said that an ancestor of the Satrap, who is the ruler of Razaan, and forged a covenant with a dragon divinity in ancient times. This divinity has since acted as the guardian deity of the Satrap. Legends hold that if ever the Satrap is in need, this dragon ally will fly to his aid. Dragon. You claim to be a terrible storyteller, but nothing could be further from the truth. The passion you bear for your faith is plain to hear. I am confident that the information you've given us will serve us well in our efforts to deal with the tower. That is very kind of you to say. Thank you. I will pray for your success. Right. I believe it's time we sought out Kral's acquaintance. An alchemist by the name of Nidana. According to Kral's notes, we are to find her at a place called the Great Work further north along the coast. Did you say you were going to see Nidata? Oh, how I envy you. She's beautiful. Brilliant and beautiful. Kind and understanding. Did I say she was beautiful? I could stare at her dainty eyes and adorable trunk all day and those eyes. Ah, when you meet her, take care you don't drown in them. There is about those who come capricious lack of blood. In such manner did we find them. What could have befallen these people? What in the world? Priorities.
Their dress marks them as alchemists. I see no evidence of injury or poison. Thinkest thou they but slumber? I believe so. Whether it is by choice is another question entirely. Oh, we have guests. You must excuse the poor welcome. Long days and longer nights have taken their toll, as you can see. I am Bashan, servant to the Satrap. My task was, in fact, to wake these good men and women, if you will allow. People of the great work, I come bearing new scales. Mm. Scales? Have you scales? Yes, my friends. Gather round. I have them right here. Oh, have the faith. Now I can continue my experiments. Many thanks. One for me. Those are dragon scales. Yes, such materials are vital to their most pressing research. And we are fortunate to have them. Our experiments are so close to bearing fruit. Soon we will have a talisman capable of nullifying the etheric emissions from that accursed tower. Did, did I say something wrong? Are you not here with Varshan? Wait, who are you people? Of course! You're the one Cryox speaks of. The warrior of light we've been waiting for. This is a day of celebration. Praise be to Cinderova! The winds have shifted. I feel it. The end to our toil is near. I feel it too. My head hasn't been this clear in days. Tell me, how did you acquire those scales? Curious that it concerns you so. But worry not. They were freely given by the dragon with whom our satrap has forged a lawful pact. Those two are staring them each other down. That is well. <laughs> you must be quite familiar with Dragon King, yes? Is this their congealed blood I see on your weapon? Yeah. Hmm. Speaking of dragon blood, you yourself have been infused with it, have you not? I should like to draw a file or two, if so. Now, see here. Come along, come along. I must insist that you visit our laboratory. Cease your shoving, or so help me. Laborian <laughs> J <Le> praise. <laughs> oh dear, your four companions. What with the new scales and your timely arrival, my colleagues are a little giddy with excitement. No harm will come to him, I promise. Meanwhile, shall we find a quiet place to talk? As you may have guessed. I am Mizana, the alchemist who sent a request to your mistress Cryos. We have workshops across the nation collaborating on this research project. But it is here, at the great work, where I collate our results. 
Come with me, all of you, and I can explain the crux of the situation. Keep. Allow me to thank you for answering my uh, call. Many tau- oh shit. No Kryle herself is tied up with another investigation. Emigos is an eminent is eminently capable substitute and we spare no effort to aid you. So if you understand correctly, you seek to make talismans that can nullify etheric commissions. Indeed we do. As you know, the tower emits vast concentrations of ether. One cannot go anywhere near it without being tempered. As such, we could only study the tower from afar, and are powerless to deal with it in any consequential way. In order to strike back, the satrap bade alchemists to create enhanced talismans, talismans that would allow our soldiers to venture into the tower even should they lack innate protection. Could such a thing be possible? Admittedly, we are still in the midst of testing, but we are quite confident. Even prior to this, our people are long pursued countermeasures against the etheric corruptions of primals. But the methods tested to date, these, these utilizing dragon scales, those utilizing dragon scales proves the most promising. Owing to their etheric density, the scales are highly resistant to disrupted forces. Might hear the dragon? the greater the resistance. We seek to amplify their protective propri property to our alchemy. Thanks to the scales provided by His Excellency, we have been able to make steady progress with the talisman. Soon we'll be ready to conduct a field test. Here is where you and your blessing of light come in. Better than having my blood drawn, I suppose. Aha, perhaps so. And knowing my colleagues, they wouldn't be satisfied with blood alone. <laughs> but, as for your task, we would only you ask only that you serve as an escort. I will explain in greater detail later, but we are venturing into the tower's field of influence. And so, for our own, sa our own safety, we would first test how well your blessing shields you. With your permission, of course. In that case, Oriange and I will find other ways to make ourselves useful. Seeing as you all work, into the, work to the point of clasp, so I suspect you could do with it more hands. We would be grateful for any assistance you can provide. If you are ready, then let us put your blessing to the proof. You exit the great work and turn south. There will be a hill to the right. I will meet you at the top after seeing to some pre preparations. I hope you didn't have trouble finding the place. I'm in the hill. Not all are accustomed to the physical strain. I give you the fruit of our sweat, tears, and many a sleepless night. The drunken Deepa. A Deepa is a lantern pre presented to the gods as an offering. 
and taking inspiration from the tradition, created this device to test the talisman's efficacy. The upon activation will move a certain distance before emitting a perf powerful blast to ether. The new of corruption, where these lacking corruption, these those lacking sufficient protection will experience severe ether sickness. For your test, you'll be exposed four times. It'll be enough to ascertain your blessing's protective capability. Please begin whenever you are ready. I shall be observing from a safe distance. Commencing Aetheric Exposure Testing. Repeat. Ex commencing Aetheric Exposure Testing. Be to a safe distance if you are not the subject. Oh, the deep, drunken deepest lead and try not to fall behind. Green Ether, please stand back. Ready to discharge. Morning, discharging Ether. Mm. You're struck by a powerful blast of Ether, but suffer no ill effects. Subject has no irrepressible urge to empty its stomach. Confirmed. Resuming test. Please follow. I mean, Ether, please stand back. Jardin Ether. You were struck by another powerful blast, but suffered no ill effects. Subject stomach and bowel integrity holding. Confirming. Resuming test. Please follow. You were struck by yet another powerful blast of ether, but suffer no ill effects. The blessing of light appears to be keeping you safe from harm. Subject fortitude rated impressive. No irregularities confirmed. Resuming test. Please follow and brace for final discharge. Guardian Aether, please stand back. We're struck by the strongest blast of Aether yet, but survived completely unscathed. Etheric, oh. Damn it, accidentally clicking through things. Congratulations, you are retaining your composure and your humorous. Ah, you returned, and not on your knees. Harbison sign. But come, let me take the deeper off your hands. Thank you. I shall be present at for when we test the talisman. Oh, no dizziness or nausea, anything of the sort? Feeling perfectly fine. Mm -hmm. The strength of your blessing is beyond doubt. There is no risk to the tower that will corrupt your ether. With this, you can request your aid for the task ahead with easy hearts. Hmm, you are a capable warrior too, are you not? Would you be amenable to assisting me with another errand? You see, a talisman requires the use of a special ink, and we have exhausted our stores of a key ingredient for it, spirit weed. The herb grows not far from here. We'd like to go and harvest them. With the... 
recent spate of kidnappings, however, we are Kosutra. Her travel alone known at our peril. If you not come with me as will you not come with me as my escort? I would compensate you for your troubles, of course. Yeah, sure. No trouble. Min your debt. Without further ado, let us head to Kajaya's footsteps, situated on the road which runs east of the Great Work. May be simply be imagining, but I feel as though we're being followed. Yes, look out, that's a ghost. Gods? But what gave me a fright? I think the moment I ventured outside the safety of the great work. I think the sisters I asked you to come with me. You are right. Good, good. Let's continue then. Get some fun now. Through these pillars and up. Rise. And here we are, Kajaya's footsteps. Kajaya was a great dancer, and those who follow in her, follow in her, well, you know, you come to this place to train. They come to this place to train and dedicate their dance to their ancestors. A happy benefit to this is the spirit weed grows here in abundance. I will set about harvesting at once if you be so good as to stand guard. Kidnappers aren't all like to return soon, but better safe than sorry. Yes, that would be Radzad Han. Hardly anyone has been allowed in or out since our troubles with the tower began. The faithful citizens huddle inside the city walls, and Commerce has all but ground to a standstill. I pity the satrap, the trials he must be facing. Can you tell me about the satrap? Well, he... He is the most important person in Radzad Han. Long ago, this island was home to two tribes of Matanga. The Gajasura and the Arkasotra. 
When the Aura came to these shores, it was the Arkasodra with whom they joined forces. Together they defeated the war like Gajasura, forcing them to flee Thavnair altogether. Peace and prosperity reigned for a time, until a clan of Hyor from the mainland decided they wanted the island for themselves. It was a direct ancestor of the present Sarthrap who arbitrated that conflict and welded the warring factions into the nation we know today. And ever since, a member of that esteemed lineage has inherited this somewhat unique position. You see, by and large, the state is run by the people. But when problems arise, it is the Sartrap who mediates the solution. The stability provided by the Sartrap is what has allowed Razad Han to thrive all these years. And it was the Sartrap himself who entrusted us with this duty. We will not fail him, nor our countrymen. What is the delay with the vessel? I told you I need to adjust those ratios. this way to admire one of my splendid towers and what do i find fools attempting to ward off its tempering influence with magic trinkets i seem to recall a similar experiment in ages past what was that man's name oh something owing Another body, another time. Who could be expected to remember every trivial detail? Hmm. Allowing them to construct such handy talismans would be counterproductive to my plan. And yet, I find myself deathly curious. How will they manage this feat? with the limited knowledge and resources at their disposal. Huh. Complications be damned, for we cannot escape the nature of our souls. And I, as ever, am my own worst enemy. Then Daniel's voice changed. went from the actor who played Asahi, whose body he's in, to the actual Fan Daniel. So, uh, Fan Daniel, your Fan Daniel is showing. That sounds odd. I have enough spirit to it last a good while. Thank you for keeping watch. Let us head back to the great work. Work, shall we? Great work. All right. Uh, it was a bard. It's great work. All right. While uh, I teleport here, I'm going to be right back. I need to use the restroom. I've had a bunch of orange Julius and tea. Morning. I need pee. You're back.
Amigos, mate, thanks again for your assistance. With your help, we are that we're that little bit closer to completing our talisman. This isn't much, but please accept it as a token, my gratitude. If you will excuse me, I shall return to my work on the talisman. Ah, you are both back. Excellent. I have a message for you, Mistress Nidana. It would seem the stores of Giant's Gall are running low. What? When last I looked, there was still plenty. I suspect that was before Oriange told everyone about their tempering cure, and Estinian shared his knowledge of dragons. Their peers have since been inspired to fashion a number of new talisman prototypes. I see. Well, if it leads to new possibilities, then far be it for me to complain. But we will need to replenish our stores. I should be happy to tend to this, if you like. As much as I appreciate the offer, my dear boy, I can't in good conscience send you out there alone when kidnappers are at large. Then of course, Lord, that I am to press another task on you so soon. Might I ask you to fetch the giant skull? In case you are not familiar, Giant Skull is a type of ore found on the island. Owing to its hard hardness and ethereal conductivity, it has applications in many disciplines, Acme not least of all. The quarry where, I, the quarry where it is found, aptly named Giant Skull Grounds, isn't far away. It shouldn't take much time, much of your time. May we impose on you once more? Out on me. Thank you. Upon arriving to the grounds, please speak to it. None named Zenuna. We will furnish you with the ore. At the very least, permit me to accompany you. It so happens I have an errand of my own that may take me to the outpost nearby. May we borrow a pair of hamsa, Mistress Nidana? By all means, do try to be patient with them. Those that survive are still in training. I will bring the hamsa to the entrance. Meet me there when you are ready. Here are our Hamsa. Emigos, if the creatures look familiar, it's because they are close kin to your Eorzean Dodos. Hamsa have long been kept as livestock in Tavnir, and many a hatchery may be found, found here. Alas, the largest of these were recently raised by monsters from the tower. On account of that said hatchery being situated near the tower, Lady and Host repurposed its rem remnants as an outpost. That is where my errand takes me, and my own your own destination is but a stone's throw away. If you have no objections, let us first make for the outpost. We'll set forth at the word. You are ready? Then let us depart. You, on you need only ride and relax. My bird and I will take the lead for yours to follow. It's awkward. Let's be off. If we haven't ridden dodos before, be warned that they are a wobbly gait. That spectacular formation stretching over the out over the waters called Kajaga, a word which means sword. This sword legend holds was yielded by the Marusia 
against the Murga before it was cast down and conflict's end. To the left, and requiring no introduction, is a tower. As you see, it straddles a small aisle. Almost there, through the main part of the hatchery is atop the cliff, the outpost itself is on the beach. Aha! Hunt! Exploration, cause me to level. And here we are, men by the Radiant Hosts' outpost is our first line of defense against the tower. Well, well, who would be but a, who would it be but the young Varshan, on an errand for the satrap? I am. He's excellently bade me come to collect your report. He also wishes to express his heartfelt gratitude to the brave men and women of the Radiant Hosts for their unflagging dedication. We simply do our duty. We are honored to receive His Excellency's regard. And yet, for this boundless benevolence, his treatment of one so young should be regarded as callous. Though we have all enjoyed relative, enjoyed relative peace and calm for these past few days, this remains the front line of battle, a place for children. Your predecessor, too, often traveled alone. Been, what, two years now since you took over? I wonder how the fellow is faring. Like the, those before him, he went on to represent the satrap in foreign lands. Wherever he may now be, I am certain he is well. As for myself, I assure you that all I do, I do of my own volition and gladly. I pray you do not think of it ill of his excellencies. Certainly not, lad. Whatever happens, my faith in the satrap is unwary. But still, I worry for you. We would be overcome with sadness if something would befall you, for you are a little brother to us all. Take care, do you hear? I will, Nadine. Thank you. And who might this be? Not Hanush, by the look of him. Permit me to introduce Emagos and War of the Eorzean Contingent, come to assist in the making of the talisman. Of Eorzea, you say? Towers have appeared over there too, yes? Tell me, what is the situation like? May I suggest you exchange information with our soldiers? Both parties would stand to learn something of value, I believe. An excellent idea. Given the unprecedented nature of the threat, some of ours are un understandably anxious. Be glad for any tidings you can bear. You two, bring Farshan the latest report and answer any questions you may have. I also got a new ability, so so so. Ah, I've heard about you, the visitor from Eosia. Is there anything you can tell us about the Telophoroi? We know that the ones that be behind the tower and that they declared war on the whole world. But why are they doing this? What is it they want? This we don't understand. What? They want to die and take everyone with them? What madness is this? Well, I can't bet that we won't, won't let those bastards have their way. We'll fight them with everything we have, like our Eorzean Far Eastern brothers. 
It occurs to me I've yet to properly introduce our company. We are the Radiant Host, a military order under the Sartrop's command. Our duty is to preserve peace on the island, be it patrolling the streets or dealing with whatever wherefore here heretofore unknown threats such as now. We train hard and admit only capable warriors to our ranks. Even so, we struggle to contend with the fiends from the tower. Though we succeed in striking them down on the two occasions they came in force, we had to pay a heavy price. But the towers in Eorzea, did they likewise spawn monsters? So, it's much the same everywhere. With every nation struggling, we cannot expect calls from outside aid for outside aid to be un Uh, you wish to know about the tower? To be honest, we know little and less about it ourselves. The tower resort, as, we, as folk have taken to call it, suddenly appeared where it did in the Isle of Naruna. We're safe from its influence at this distance, but go too far into the water and you'll expose yourself to its corrupt nature. You're a foreigner, aren't you? How are they dealing with the tower in the foam then? Uh, pretty much the same. Struggles are not unique, then our hope will lie with the talismans. Must keep the monsters contained until they're ready. Finish speaking with the soldiers, have you? I hope it was an enlightening for you as it was for them. As a neutral nation and trading hub, both Ratsatan ordinarily receives a steady stream of news from abroad. Last, this stream dried up when trading vessels stopped coming. Amidst the death of information, everyone will have been grateful for your account. But come, you are best, best see to your original errand, as mine will keep me here a while longer. However, I'm afraid I cannot guide you to the rest of the way. Worry not, the path is straightforward. You need but to follow the road east. At least upon the Hamsa, you will arrive before you know it. Brief though it was, I enjoyed our time together. Now that we're up on this side of, uh... Now we're on this side after I get done with this whole Humpsa thing. And grab the last three and possibly also get my hunts. Hi, this is indeed the Giant Skull Grounds, and I am Zanuya. Is this something you require? Uh, Nidana bid me to get some Giant Skull. Giant Skull for the Alchemists, you say, but of course, they shall have it. Labor tirelessly to deal with the tower, and it is the least we can do to provide them with the materials they need. Here you are, a sack of the purest Giant Skull. We always have some set aside for our Alchemist friends. When you deliver it, let the good folk the great work know that they are grateful for their efforts. If they need more, they need it, but ask. Alright, so I need to check a few things. Let's look at my guild build. Kachikaba? Saltwind's welcome. And then two Chamrosh. This one is later on in the story. Meantime, I need to come up here so that I can come down here to come down here and grab the seat. Through.
Boom to shore. Hours. Ow! Oh shit. First things first. There they are.
That's why I looked like enshrouded. Oh, that's gonna wear off. In the meantime, let's go to the great work. Oh, welcome back, amigos. Yeah, I hope you have the giant skull. Oh, my, such fine specimens. Thank you so much for bringing these. We now have everything we need to make our next prototype, one that should be capable of passing the most rigorous test. When it is ready, it is time for the true test. So please take your ease while you can. I'm just gonna go out and hang out in the rain. See, our taskmasters have allowed you a moment's respite as well. You have to hand it to these alchemists. They are determined to see this endeavor of theirs succeed. I've never been one for blind optimism. I sincerely get the sense they're close to a breakthrough. They had better be, for all this effort was for naught. The peoples of Eorzea, of the Far East, of Thavner, children of this star united in common cause against a dire threat. Yet ere they succumb to suicidal madness, were not the Telophoroi born of her body, as were we? They who cling to life and the promise of the morrow's dawn, against they who desire death and an ending of their own orchestration. The victors of this war alone will hold the right to answer the question of existence, of its meaning, and its worth. Poetic and ominous to a fault. That said, if it's an existential debate in nature, then our arguments might not be as persuasive as you think. Pan Daniel wants to die and take everyone with him in an orgy of pain and suffering. An utterly vile and unforgivable idea. And yet, and spat upon by fate and wailing in the deepest pit of despair. Who among us can say they have not entertained similar thoughts? There are nights black as pitch, bereft of hope. And no words of comfort can reach you. And it's all you can do to grit your teeth and choke back the bile. The more you see and suffer life's injustices, the more difficult they become to bear. Vengeance is nurtured in similar soil. Though your anger has a broader focus, the sentiment is much the same. A fervent desire to destroy others, to see them drown in torment, as you have. That about sums it up. The will to endure is not always as strong as the urge to burn it all down and salt the earth. Survival be damned. It's a struggle, often close and brutal. Indeed. Well, I, for one, shall pray survival proveth more appealing in the end. As will I. Besides, 
Our chances are much improved when we've the company of others committed to the cause of life. Our vengeful dragoon here is proof of that. What is it? What did you see? I'm dead Daniel, here. are you sure? If he knows we've been working on a countermeasure. It holds. The vessel holds. This is the one. At long last. I mean, I know the cutscenes are reflecting what the current weather was set in the zone, but strong enough to withstand our experiment. We've named it a warding scale for the time being. With this in your possession, your soul should be completely shielded from corrupted ether. Afforded such protection, any one of us may approach the towers without fear. Thou hast mine admiration. Tis an invention of historical significance. I thank you for your kind words. But I would prefer you keep them unsaid until we test the talisman's efficacy in the field. It is for the next stage of our plan that we summon you in the first place. To accompany me to the Tower of Zot. Should the scale prove effective, as I very much hope it will, then you'll have little to do. But should the effect be weaker than anticipated, I must ask that you restrain me, or knock me senseless. Hope it doesn't come to that. Either way, we are fortunate to have you with us. Madonna, I... Are you certain you wish to do this? If others are to trust our creations, then we must have faith in them first. And as the senior researcher, it falls to me to lead by example. But should I fail to return? Then learn what you can from this attempt and apply it to the next. Our work must continue. Is that clear? We'll keep an eye on the place while you're away. Assuming Fandaniel is lurking about, there's no telling what mischief he has in mind for us or you. Be on your guard. Shall we be on our way? I'll have one of the soldiers at the hatchery prepare us a boat, and we can set out from the northern shore. I'll see you there. All right. Quick pause while I uh, top up my beverages. I think I might be able to perfectly time this so we get to a good cutoff point for the swap to the session two. Anyways, be right back.
All right. I'm back. Well, I was already yawning, feeling a little tired, so I'm going to... Ah. Follow the road. Two reasons. One, I'm going to utilize exploration to provide XP for another job. I'm going to get flying and pick up all the missing parts of the map. This is another finer boat than I would have expected, but I can't complain. All that remains is to board and be on our way. Oh, and if you become corrupted, do not stay your If I do become corrupted, do not stay your hand. Of course, I pray it does not come to that, but you must protect yourself. Other alchemists can fulfill my role, but you and your blessing are ones of the kind, and perhaps our only hope for toppling this tower. For all our sakes, do not hesitate to do what must be done, whatever that may be. Well, the longer I draw this out, the more nervous I become. Let us be off. We should soon cross the threshold of the tower's influence. Any moment now. It's working! And you... you are still yourself? Then I'd like to see how it fares closer to the tower if we could. Far so good. The scale's protection appears to be holding. If we can just make it to the tower's entrance. A few more steps. to the sisters we made it and the scale has proven itself to be everything we hoped it would be now we can focus on production once we've equipped and returned with an entire survey team this menace will soon give up its secrets
Get a peek at the towers up. A little late for heroics, I'm afraid. Hmm. The similarities are striking. My, my! Such hostility! Never before has my artistry so displeased. My patrons of old would have positively squealed in delight, though, between you and me, I find gushing praise exhausting. Allow me to tell you a story. Surely you've yet to hear the one about Van Daniel, the sundered Asian. I inherited the position and the soul of the Van Daniel who sat on the convocation in the time of the final days, theoretically speaking. Practically speaking, that fact is of no consequence. I was born and lived as, well, me. Eventually, I was recruited into the Asians and imbued with the former Fan Daniel's knowledge and memories. But I never felt that they were truly a part of who I am. How to explain? But perhaps if I told you who I was before my Asian embrace, although that chapter too is a past I've long since discarded. I have it on good authority. You've poked your nose into an Allegan ruin or two. Yes? Then I expect you've heard of me. The old me. Um, um at, at your, your service. service. Imagine a nation of unbridled prosperity. Every need met, day after day, of unbroken, unshakable peace. Existence fulfilled. And ripe for decay. A genius without peer, Amon. However do you conceive of such delightful experiments? That fool was beside himself with panic when he awoke with the head of a bull. <laughs> Even his cries for help emerged as so much guttural lowing. Oh, oh, oh the memory of it. <laughs> My poor sides. My friends and I were so consumed by laughter, we struggled to breathe. No more than entertainment 
for bored wastrels ignorant of its worth. My all-consuming work. But it was not their only indulgence. For they were ever hungry for stimulation. Slaves to the slightest hint that amusement was afoot. Our nation was ailing, but I would see the poison purged. I resurrected a legend, our first and greatest emperor. And just as I had planned, he set our wayward empire back on the path of conquest. An inexhaustible ambition carried us onwards, always onwards. Yet, he who delivered to us such glory was not to be satisfied. Heed me, Armon. No matter how vast one's empire, or full one's treasure vault, all is rendered meaningless by death. In the end, all is lost. You know as well as I that the Emperor stands to lose this war. And so I have come to claim you. For while your methods leave something to be desired, we cannot deny the results of your work. And as fortune would have it, the seat of Van Daniel, your rightful seat, lies vacant and waiting. Take your place amongst your peers, rather than die a pointless death amidst the ashes of your doomed nation. Send one of your clones to the Crystal Tower that you might see for yourself. See what lies ahead. The fall of the Empire affirmed the truth, majestic and tragic, as the Emperor foresaw. Scheme as you like, build as you will, nothing endures. What is life but a brief jaunt ending in emptiness? So, so easily, easily distracted. distracted. Why, 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 I almost, almost left, left without, without saying, saying farewell. farewell. As for As your, your friend, friend, you needn't need worry. worry. These, These pawns, pawns are, are far, far more, more useful, useful to me to alive, alive as, as fuel, fuel for the primes. The primes. Uh, uh, uh. If you if attempt, attempt to pull them free, free they, they will die. die. So, 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 enjoy, enjoy tackling, tackling that conundrum, that conundrum with, with your comrades. We shall we meet, meet again. again. Not in not in these mind spires. Oh, oh no, 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 no. But, but somewhere, somewhere more, more suitably grandiose. grandiose. Your, your favorite, favorite playmate, playmate is, is ever so eager, eager to see.
now you turn. But where's Mistress Nidana? And so, yes, preserve. Just when he had succeeded in making the talisman. And I must support this at once. Ima, please return to the great work. Something's gone awry, hasn't it? What happened? Son has been taken. The down has been taken. It was Fen Daniel after all. Damn that bastard. Let me show you we want to do more, but we are right to return to here first. We must tread warily, lest we endanger Nidana and the other captives. First, we must inform everyone of the situation, Nidana's colleagues included. I'll call them together for a gathering, and I think it would be best if you were the one to explain. Oh, Nidana. Nidana. Can, can you answer me this? Though Nidana was trapped in the tower, do you still laugh? Make warding scales as many as we can. The prototype worked perfectly. This Nidana proved at peril to herself. So let us make more warding scales that she and all those who are taken may be saved. Aye, as alchemists, this is how we will, we will win, help win the fight. My friends, the satrap has made and made aware of the tragedy. He offers his heartfelt condolences and reiterates his pledge to provide you with all that you require. To that end, he made me give you this link. You might personally discuss the production of the warning scales with him. As for our Eorzean visitors, I bear an invitation. In her report, Mistress Nidana noted your vital contributions to the talisman's creations. This fact came to the satrap's attention, and in recognition of your deeds, he wishes to meet you. In addition to thanking you in person, we would also discuss further avenues of collaboration. And so, if it is agreeable, you will not accompany me to Ratzatan for an audience with His Excellency? We will be honored, of course. Closer cooperation between our lands can only be to the benefit of all. Then it is settled. Please come to the gates east of the Giant Skull grounds, and I will show you into the city. Yo, long walk. Oh, 
There's one of the things I probably could do to, that kind of help at least before I get flight is to uh, form some faith so that I can get to the point of getting brain transfer. This is Labyrinthos. That will allow me to move faster. that actually did do me anything. Yeah, I need to get, like, gold breeding. We were a little late on that one. I had a chunk of XP, though, so that's good. All present, and let us proceed. Owing to the threat of the tower, the city is currently in a state of high alert and strict restrictions are in place for entry. Though you have been granted special permission, I ask that you remain close to me at all times. A vast rock squats upon Favnir and to its stony surface clings the city of Rods at Han. Ye who enter here are subject to the scrutiny of gods, the gate's most watchful eye. The orb which beholdeth the truth of all things, its hot and piercing gaze, bearing down like a second midday sun. The fragrant haze, a mixture of sweet incense and acrid smoke. The cries of merchants mingled here with lively melodies accented by dancers' feet. Travelers seduced by vivid sound and colors were once swallowed up by patchwork streets. But no such scenes to savor now. To what somber present does that divine eye bear witness? Megadota. Mm. 
It seems a shame to bring you here directly. Under normal circumstances, it would have been my pleasure to show you the sights. And it would have been our pleasure to see them. Alas, it seems our tour of the city will have to wait. I'm afraid so. Come, we should head inside. Your Excellency, may I present our honored visitors. Ah, splendid. Most splendid. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Ahawan, satrap of Radzat Han. Our alchemists tell me your assistance was invaluable in the creation of the warding scale. Such deeds ought to be recognized in person. Thus did I have Young Varshan convey you here forthwith. On behalf of my people, may I express to you our sincere gratitude. Said everything to plan. I assume you speak of Nedana. A regrettable incident indeed. Her colleagues insist that we honor her wishes and trust in the talisman, that it will be instrumental in saving Nedana and the others. I am eager to hear your opinion on the matter, so let us not stand on ceremony. Come, sit. I think not. This charade has gone on long enough. Show yourself. Forgive me, but were you expecting musicians, perhaps? There are no performers waiting in the wings at present, but arrangements could be made if you'd prefer. Nay, he hath the right of it. The time for artifice is past. Raise the curtain. As you wish. You travel as assistants to the students of Valdez, but you are known to me. Even here have we heard of the science of the Seventh Dawn. I am Vritra, and for years uncounted hath this isle served as my abode. First brood, sibling to Hreisvelger and Nidhogg. I, mine elder brothers, of Midgard's former spawn, I was last to hatch. Well, isn't this a surprise? We were told Radzat Hahn had an alliance with the dragon. Not that a great worm sat in the Sartrap's own hall. A necessary subterfuge, as the true tale of our nation history illustrates most effectively. In the beginning, the rock upon which our city is built was home to Vitra, and Vitra alone. In time, the ancestors of the Matanga came to the island and established a foothold. But never did they dare disturb the worm's lair. Next to arrive with the Aura. Adopting the example of the Akasodra allies, they too treated Vitra with reverence and respect. And for many years, an understanding between our forefathers and the Great Worm endured. Until, 
Marauding hears from the mainland came, threatening to shatter our peace and tranquility. When it seemed all would be drowned in blood, Vitra himself came forth and quelled the rising conflict. A peaceful accord was reached, and Ode sworn in Vitra's name. Thus begun the dragon's governance of the fledgling state, which was to grow into Rad's Adhan. But if Ritra is still here, then your position as Sartrap is just... A charade. Yes. And one which my family has performed faithfully for generations. Many envy the great worms their power. Were it known that I ruled here, then the fires of war would burn without end. I would not be the flame which consumeth my people. Those few who join me in laying our country's foundations were, perforce, sworn to secrecy. Your eye. It was taken. Tis here, buried within the semblance of flesh. The body before thee is but a simulacrum, constructed by the finest artisans of Razatan. With mine eye nestled within, it doth serve as an inconspicuous vessel for my wit. Ah, that would explain why I felt the presence of a dragon upon our first meeting. I am woven with words fashioned to deceive such arcane senses. Though twas short-lived, it seemeth thy fusion with my brother hath left thee much altered. Estinian warm blood. From the very first, we sensed the nature of one another, yet did neither one of us bear his fangs. That is all I need know of thee for now. With my secret thus revealed, I have for you a proposal, not as a worm of the first brood, but as the ruler of Rad's Adhan. With all haste must we take in hand the finished talismans and breach this foul spire. Thence, should it lay within our power to spell its wicked influence, Yet even with the assurance of the warding scales, the narrow confines of the tower doth limit the size of our force. And thus denied strength in numbers, thou must choose thy soldiers with care. Just so. Yet though our radiant host is formidable, I see a sure path before me. There's no denying it's a dangerous proposition, but the rewards may far outweigh the risk. Just think of what we might accomplish if we could equip all our allies with warding scales. 
I worry, however, that even the four of us may be too few for what you have in mind. Might we regroup with our friends first to discuss the matter? Tis no trifling task that I have laid before you. Go. Steal your hearts and hone your plans. Such time as you require shall be spent in crafting your protective charms. It seems a quick trip back to Charlian is in order. Will thou not lend thine aid? Whether your request be made as a great worm or the ruler of Rods at Han, I see no reason to refuse, nor will I. Estinian, all business and pleasure. That meeting took a rather unexpected turn, but we now have a clear objective ahead of us. Let us rejoin our comrades in Charlian and muster a suitable crew for our foray into the Tower of Salt. Oh, and if you haven't already done so, be sure to tune to the Etherite here before departing. Unless, of course, you enjoy violent nausea. Alright then. Talk to Charlie. 1,115 gil! Transport from Rods at home to Charlie. Why is that? Charlene's a really long way from France. <laughs> Before, the maximum amount was 999 because of weird, weird old things where things couldn't go over to the, go over a thousand. Or to the thousand, for that matter. I'm actually going to set this at the home point. That will make uh, trips back to the Charlene cheaper. Oh, I can also pop over to This is a good cut point. Our paths converge. We did Labyrinthos, we did Just as I was getting used to Balmy's Avenue, we're, we're back to Chili Shalian. Take care not to catch up to death. We need you for the battles to come. Now then, everyone appears to be here, so let us take stock of the developments and discoveries. So, we're going to take a quick break. Uh, stream down, stream up. Uh, probably going to actually uh, initiate a few things, so it'll be a couple minutes uh, while we wait. But, until then, I will be uh, back, so stay watching. Uh, I'll be back for part four where paths have converged on. Uh, we, we've had our Labyrinthos crew, we had our Thavnir crew, now they're getting together because we need to assault the Tower of Zot. So let's see what happens there. Uh, I'll see you in a few minutes, so stay tuned. Uh, bye bye.